Hey, Dave here from Bio Gear, and I've just snuck back into the Brisbane studio and thought I'd shoot a quick behind the scenes video showing you what we've uh, been up to in the last oh, three months. <laughs> three months, yeah. Um, okay, so we have introduced our subby. So this is this uh, backpack here, um, and that is our first um, product not manufactured in-house. So it's made uh, exclusively for us in Vietnam, and it's a, a sub $100 product. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Um, the other thing we have been working on is a range of duffel bags. So we previously had the uh, Duffle, which came in at 25 litres, um, and we realised that it was really good for carry-on. So we've actually increased the size to, to 30 litres. Um, and in addition to that, we've uh, about to introduce the, the medium and the large, so three different sizes in the range. Um, so keep an eye out for a video on that one uh, later on. And put that to one side, we'll talk about that one later. Um, so, the Subby. So that was um, a sub $100 pack, and it's a uh, lighter weight entry level um, uh, entry into to the world of BO gear. Um, so, I actually had, um, this, is, this arrived about two weeks ago, um, and I actually had someone inquire and said, um, this was Ken, thank you very much Ken. He actually said, hey, how do you, how do you pack? How do you pack for when you, when you travel? Because this for me um, is my go-to bag for, for one bag traveling, so for light carry-on travel only. So when I come back to, to Brisbane, um, this is the bag that I bring. Well, technically, that's the bag I bring, which I've been thrashing the heck out of for probably about the last, uh, oh, what are we now, nine months, no, 10 months now. Um, but, you know, because it's slightly older and not quite up to date, I would have packed out exactly how I'd, I carry my bag at the moment, but in the newer version. So I thought I'd just show you how I pack it. So Subby has the uh, super stretch mesh drink bowl pockets, and personally, I really like to pack um, a jumper on, uh, or a hoodie. Um, I get really cold on the airplanes. They always seem to put an arctic blast on, so that is easy access for me. Um, so that's always in the, in the drink bottle pockets. Um, and in the front top pocket, I basically have everything that I've got um, access to when I'm on the flight. So that would include things like my phone, uh, my wallet, um, lip stuff, um, and then I also have my eye mask, which is just a, you know, a, a um, a buff, um, which I use to, to, to go to sleep with. And then I also have earplugs, um, so I can sleep, um, and then also a pen. So if you ever travel internationally, you need to be able to fill out all the forms and everything. So that's in the, um, the front easy access pocket. Let's just put that to one side. Um, and then inside the actual bag itself. So inside the bag, I usually carry all my, um, my laptop peripherals and all those little sort of things um, in an EDC pouch. So at the top of the bag, let's, let's just open that up. You see that there. So at the top of the bag is an EDC pouch. Um, now because um, I got this at sub seven kilos, so I got it under seven kilos for carry on, I have stripped the webbing off the back. Um, but that's my EDC pouch, which carries all my little um, laptop peripherals and everything. One little pouch, which takes up pretty much uh, the top third of the bag. Top third, top quarter of the bag. Um, I always carry my um, my A5 diary. I do like to have notes and stuff on my on my phone, but I love just being able to have everything on paper. Um, so that's my diary. I have all my clothes all neatly folded and rolled for some instances in a trouble sack. Um, so yeah, that's the trouble sack of all the clothes in there. Um, behind that, I have my laptop, um, and that's in a laptop case. Um, which we'll talk about in a minute. <laughs> um, and then behind that, I like to have a uh, little A4 uh, folder. That's for carrying little notes and, and files. So you've got a couple little bit of files and notes in there. Um, and that also gives a little bit of rigidity to the back of the bag. Um, so although the bag does have a um, slip section for the laptop, I like to actually pack it in loose. Um, I just find it makes it easier for me to get stuff in and out. Um, and then in the front mesh pocket there, I have my toiletries. And that's a little prototype case that we're working on at the moment. It's basically a mini size of the trouble sack. So that's got my toiletries in it. Um, so it's got my toothbrush, my toothpaste, deodorant, soap, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I have my headphones, whoop, keys, headphones, and that's it. So that is basically everything that I fit inside the, um, the, the seven kilo limit with the subby. Um, so that means I can carry with a one bag, um, carry on. And that's what I particularly like about the Subby because it, you know, it comes in at 540 grams, so it is lightweight. So although I previously used to use the Bullpup, um, because it's about, um, well, what is it, 900 odd grams, you know, that's an extra 400 grams of packing stuff that I really, really need to use. Particularly because I have my behemoth of a laptop 
and I also have oh, the DSLR that we're recording this with also fits in there. Um, so those two things really push my weight limit. So another little thing that we've been working on, there's a little behind the scenes, um, and we're uncertain whether we would like to release this, so it, it comes down to you guys, what you think. Um, so please um, let us know. Leave a comment below um, on the blog post, YouTube, Facebook, um, wherever you find out about this. Leave a comment, let us know. You know should we actually do it or uh, should we leave it? And if we do do it, what size do you want? And what that is, is iPad cases. So your tablet case. Um, so we're looking at um, doing a customized version that, so you can have um, a soft air mesh on the inside, which actually feels like a neoprene. It's not the open um, hold one, which is scratchy. It's actually very soft, so it feels like a neoprene. And on the outside, you'd have the 1000 Denny nylon, which could be custom, custom colored. So that's just a super simple little slip. Um, but we are doing another version, thinking about doing another version. Depends whether you guys like the idea of it. Um, being a heck of a lot more, um, more tough. So this one here has the, uh, the 1.5 mil of air mesh padding, whereas this one, it fits my behemoth of a 13 inch laptop, old school 13 inch laptop. Um, there we go. And so this version also has the soft um, air mesh on the inside, but it also then has in each layer on the front, the back and the base and the sides, an extra five mil of padding. So that's the same foam that we use in the back pads of uh, backpacks, um, but in five mil form. So it means that you've got up to, what is it? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 mils. I had to count that. I'm surprised I don't have enough fingers to count that. 13 mils of, um, of foam and padding. And so that means that you can decide uh, whether it would be a very protective case or a not so protective case. Um, and so we can actually, uh, toying with the idea of allowing customised uh, ability to, to have extra padding. Um, and in addition to that, then you can also play around with the exterior colours. So at the moment I've just gone a one piece slip style design but with a folded flap on top for protection. Um, but that's the, the two that we're toying with and we don't know whether it's the right move to continue down this line or not. So. It's up to you guys. What do you think? Should we should we should we continue with that? And if we do, what size would you like? Would it be a 13 inch? Would it be a 15 inch? You know, what what should we what should we do first? Um, so I'm Dave from Bio Gear. Um, leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts on that on that pouch um, for the laptops. Um, and thank you for the support. Cheers.